Hello, hola, tere. I don't like long intros, so let's start. This first map shows us how to say March in European languages. This is actually quite surprising as most of the languages have a similar name for March. That usually doesn't happen. But of course, then there are countries like the Czech Republic and Lithuania that live their own life. But did you know that the word March itself comes from the Latin god of war, Mars? Let it snow, let it snow. This is how you say the word snow in these European languages. So that's where the Santa's ho 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 comes from. From Hungary. Look, at this point the Romanian snow zapada sounds more Slavic than in Slavic languages, isn't that right? Of course, in Finland and my home country Estonia, we like to be different. We say lumi. I think it sounds pretty beautiful and different. Try saying it, lumi. Water, agua, vesi, however you wanna call it, this is how you say water in different European languages. What's fantastic with the French language is that there are three letters, different letters of course, but together they are U. In Russia, vodka is just water with a K, voda, vodka, is that a coincidence? But again, this map shows you how similar actually the finno ugric languages are. So far, yet so similar. History is amazing, isn't it? There is so much terror and war going on in the world, so this is how you say the word peace. For Poland, it might be a bit weird because the word pokoi. Is that how you say it, pokoi? It has two meanings, peace and room. By the way, the Dutch word for peace means anger in Danish. Pretty interesting how Hungarian and Basque words for peace sound similar, even though they're so far away. Map of the quotation marks in European languages. To be honest, this just confuses my mind. I dived more deep into this and actually found out that some countries are wrong here, but Estonia, my home country, is correct at least. Europeans, tell me, is this map correct for your language? How do you say zero Fs given in different European languages? The phrase zero Fs given sounds very American, so it should be something else for the United Kingdom, like I don't give a sh yeah, that would be more common. Anyways, people from Greece, you do have elevated expressions of art. And for Spain, they used the most nice sounding one. Most people would say melasuda, which means it makes it sweat. I'm not trying to be demonetized here, okay? How to say no in European languages? No, nine. A, niet. Nu, higher. Did I pronounce it right? Higher. Turkish people tell me. Anyways, the colors for this map might be a bit confusing, but they represent the languages that say the word no a bit similar. Do you understand? Also, it seems as though we have lost Belgium. Oh no. We already talked about March, but what about April? This is how you see it in European languages. And as always, Finnish is just vibing. Turkey as well. But Lithuanians, I think Balandis is a pretty fun word, Balandis. I figured out that Balandis literally translates to pigeon, is that right Lithuanians? Isn't it weird that all of North Africa calls April? More maps at jacobmarian.com <laughs> Let's move on with the word now. I feel like this word is the most different among all European languages. Just look at it, almost everyone has their own version. My personal favorites here are Nuna in Iceland and Seychas in Russia. By the way, coloring Switzerland and Belgium in only one color seems scary. And what about Algerian? Is the word now really called dark in your language? Hello in European languages. This map shows us the more formal ones before the less formal ones. That means the greetings at the top are safe to say to everyone and the ones at the bottom are usually better suited for friends and family. The colors here mean the language families even though some are really different. But all in all Europeans, do you agree with this map? 
Tell me in the comments. <clears throat> I hope you understand that I am playing with demonetization with this one. Here's how to say what the F in different European languages. And to make it even more fun for you, have fun watching me trying to pronounce this. Oh, que carajo. Que mierda. Ma, che caso. Chest qui se porde. Kakovo chorta. Kagres. Kar. Karetsin. What fun then? What fun? As we already looked at the word no, it's time for the word yes. I know for a fact that in Scotland they don't say yeah. If anything, it should have a yeah on there. Did you know that in Polish a more informal version of yes is no? It's pronounced a little different and it's confusing as hell, especially in conversations where you switch the languages all the time. But overall I feel like this map is just laughing at me. What about you? The word 92 may be a bit confusing in some languages. I was like what the hell looking at the French language until I noticed the no <laughs> Really, I thought the French had a rather odd way of dealing with numbers, but that Danish way of saying it intimidates me a little. Like what the hell. Also, it seems as though Iceland has moved its uh, location. But to confuse you even more, in Estonia we say Uheksagument Cox. This next one shows us the translation for it's all Greek to me. That means whether a language is difficult to learn or to understand. I think I am French to this conversation has to be the best one. Meanwhile, most of the countries say it's all Chinese to me. The Germans say I understand only railway station. Scheiße. We move on with the word how in every European language and I don't even want to get started with the way Romania and Moldova say it. What the hell guys. In the Netherlands and Flanders, I know it's written ho. But it's pronounced who. As well, the French version of saying the word how is pretty surprising to me. I didn't know you said comment. The funny part here is that cock in Russian means how, but in Dutch it means she. Yeah, you know what I mean. And we go on with the number three in different European languages. And as always, the Finno Ugric languages are doing their own thing, as well as Basque and Turkish. But in all other languages, it's pretty similar to English, isn't it? 3. If you're still here, comment I love maps and I'll be happy, I guess. Okay, until next time. Bye bye.